Stop laughing. <laughs> Go around, it's so pretty. Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> uh, today we're going to go ahead and review uh, the rest of Wave 1 Master Universe Origins. Uh, this series was released in 2020. Um, mm -hmm. Had limited distribution from what I understand. I think it originally was a Walmart exclusive. Um, but very low um, distribution. Uh, I saw these on the, at the time on the pegs. I uh, waited and then paid for it later. Um, so unfortunately, this wave consisted of four or four additional characters, other than the two we reviewed last time. So we've already reviewed He Man and Skeletor. Um, we're going to talk about uh, Tila and Evil Lynn, and then Master uh, Man at Arms and Beast Man. And basically, uh, these will be the rest of the wave. I was kind of hoping that the comic book that had come with He-Man and or He-Man and Skeletor, um, Beast Barrage, had actually been a different, uh, different comic book. But unfortunately, when we look in the case here, it's looking like it's going to be the same thing. Yeah. Um, so this might be a little hard to show on camera or not. I'm going to try to do this. So here, you take a look at this one. I'm going to show you. So there was a complaint about these the, the girl figures when they came out. Mm -hmm. The problem was it was the knees. People did not like how the thigh and the knee sort of ran up over the calf. They didn't like it. Yeah. So in later versions, they, they fixed it or they, they changed it to make it, make it better. But these very first figures don't have good knees. Should I get an example? Well, here, yeah, um, so, Wait, actually, yeah, no, you have one right there, actually. Show them, oh, yeah. um, you show them that one, and then if I can find she I'll bring so, that up. So, this is, uh, Tila and Zor, Zora? Z Zor. Zor. But you could see the knee difference a little bit. It's kind of hard to see because of the packaging right here. But in the other version, the knee just kind of goes like that, but now it's more pronounced, I guess. He, it kind of yeah. looks more like a knee now, so, and less like a blob. So, for comparison, here's the both of them. Hopefully these are both on camera. Um, the The issue was that the way that the, the, the knee sort of rode up over the side, it didn't make, a lot of people didn't like it. Um, so, we have each of the original figures here. I'm going to show them to you today. We'll only be opening two, uh, two of the four because... We don't have duplicates of two of them. Yes, I like to keep a... If I can, I like to keep one mitten box. Actually, here, let me go ahead and... Uh, That's why the Beast Man box is just in such a bad condition. Well, this yeah. one is... Because that's the one we're going to open. Because you want to keep the better box for, for the one that you're not going to. So, so these are all the characters that we haven't talked about yet in Wave 1. So, Man at Arms, Tila. Beast Man and Evelyn. Which, in my opinion, Evelyn is a lot better. But she's She looks sick to me. And that's <laughs> actually why I only have one of her, so I won't be opening her. Her, her or Tila. The reason why we won't be opening Tila is because, well, there is the bad knees to be concerned with. Unfortunately, I've, I've already got the comic book from the He-Man Skeletor pack, as well as it's going to be in the ones that we open today. Yeah. But Evelyn, I don't have another one, and unfortunately, I, I don't, I never liked the, the yellow skin. I didn't know what they were doing there. I mean, it, she just looks sickly to me. I, I, I don't get it. So... These two we won't be opening. When the time comes to play and I want to use them, yeah. I'll be very happily playing with the Wave 5 version of her that was released, the one that's that has the, like It has more white skin-ish. Yeah, it's, it's purple. It's, it's 2000X. I mean, at least she doesn't look like a banana. So She looks like a banana. She looks like she's a mascot for Dole. She, <laughs> she's got something for going Dole? on. Yeah, they're, uh, they're the people who put out the produce. Dole. Deli? Wait. No, D O L E. Dole. It's a business. I've never heard of that. Yeah, well, it's because you have <laughs> you all your meals it. brought to you. I was able to find another um, man at arms. Man at arms, but unfortunately, um, when I tried to order a Beast Man off of eBay uh, or Amazon, I don't remember which one it was, they gave me the international version. And I think I knew that when it was coming, but I, I wanted the original one. There's really no difference. Actually, here, let's show them the back of the boxes, and I'll explain what the real problem here is. Um, basically, these are the differences in the boxes. 
Besides um, the fact that one's bent and one isn't. Yeah. The I feel like this is a really busy if you read the words here, it's kind of busy. There's a lot going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, there. there is a lot. Yeah. Just like there's like no, no, even no, in the camera, you can't even really read it. It's it's a, it's a little busy now. On the the trade off is though on the U S card whenever they have t dialogue, they put it over the top of the picture. And I don't. I actually can say they both have benefits because I like the fact that this is a cleaner version where it doesn't have words all over everything. But at the same time, I mean, there's a, I mean, there could be a disclaimer in there that you know Beastman is not in this package that this is actually something else or something like that. Um, anyway, so we do have one, but we'll be opening this one and. Part of this will also be to demonstrate some of the variances between the international version and the U.S. version. Or, I guess, yeah, the U.S. version. I guess I don't want to be insensitive, but I guess it is just called the U.S. version. All right. Before we get to unboxing, if you haven't seen our last video where we unboxed Hemian and Skeletor, you need to go check that out right after this one because it, it kind of explains a lot of stuff that we were, that we were talking about. Yeah, All right. Kind of horrible. Um, Something else to note that they did on the uh, Man at Arms, Man at Arms that they didn't do on the original, which I always thought was weird as a kid. So Man at Arms uh, famously has a very nice mustache, <laughs> and uh, weird they gave kid. it to him on this. And I, I don't know. I feel like they just sort of painted his lip. I, it doesn't really look like a mustache to me. I mean, it, <laughs> it, it just looks it, like they did like this. It, it just yeah, it goes a little past his mouth or something. I mean, I I know we don't want the Hitler thing, but I just feel like um. I mean, he is seriously wearing a fake mustache. It just it doesn't look right to me. But otherwise, I'm excited that they tried. And this, God, I remember squeezing his head when I was little just because it was that's the kind of toy he was. What? You would squeeze his head? The, the toys were different back then, okay? You murder them. No, I didn't murder them. They just, it was something stupid that was, because they didn't want anybody to, they, they were thinking about hurting kids in different ways back then. So they made the toys, I think, softer just so they couldn't throw them at each other and hurt each other. <laughs> Yeet! So, but, I, I mean, then again, too, I think these heads came off pretty easy. So, like, a, ch a baby could just, like, grab onto it with his mouth and I'm... just immediately choke on it. So I, I don't really know. Um, so right off the bat, I'm noticing he man so, so man in arms here, he's wearing his armor. I love whatever. It looks like his head's a little. Here, let me fix it. <laughs> There. There you go. It looks a little bit better now. Yeah. No, it doesn't look yeah. like they just he put on stage He's like, statue. hey. Watch me win. Hey. <laughs> My mom dressed. <laughs> <laughs> like she put him in like baby clothes or something. It doesn't look right. But no, the, um, yeah, this is, this is more what he's supposed to look like. But I know right off the bat, something that was famous for him was I want to say that he had, he only had body armor on one side of his, his body. I think that. Wait, what? Yeah. It was a little weird. But like this character isn't stiff at all. They're just like, watch me whip, watch oh me nanning, <laughs> watch me whip, 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 watch me nanning. All right, all right. I think I proved my point. No, you proved your point. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, what is this? <gasps> he has a whip. Yeah, you now you get to whip a nanning. Oh yes, hold on. <laughs> all right. And then okay, so yeah, he has this whip. It's actually. I saw it on the box, I think. I did not expect it to be an actual like piece of string. I expected it to kind of be plastic. Okay, well, I think this completes the look. Man at Arms is famously only half-dressed again. Oh, whoa! Just how he's, uh, you know, he's supposed to be. I always thought it was a little weird, but I always thought it was kind of cool, too. And I, don't ask me why, but like this green and this orange, really like it. Um, so, weird. so... I feel like, and maybe this is just me, I feel like his strap over his foot doesn't really latch on well enough. Um, I mean, uh, he, he's, he's, he's great. He fits the look. Um, I think they, they, they thank you for the mustache after 30 years, 30, 40 years. Thank you for the mustache. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Still got this arm bending issue, though. I don't really get it. Maybe it's just oh, you. You know what? All right, new and improved. Now watch me whip. If this... Watch me nay nay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch <laughs> I'm making all of your characters do, like, trends and stuff. Look, these are not trendy. <laughs> okay. They all belong right. where they were. I finished putting all the clothes on my character. What happened to you? <laughs> oh, oh, I got another piece, actually. 
Oh, he's done the piece. I'm, I'm sitting there thinking I'm done. I'm like loving him. I'm like, ooh. And then I Shiny. see like this forearm here and I'm like, that don't look right. <laughs> He's a sparkly, shiny, wait a minute, it's a human! He was pretty good up until like a minute ago. Until <laughs> I ruined him? Yeah, you didn't ruin him. No crap. Woo! So they keep doing this thing where... <laughs> you know what? My guy would kick the crud out of you. I'm like all ahead of you. you know, you're not ahead of me. Look, you're just... You're doing it wrong. I'm the winner. I, I don't get that. You want me to help you? I don't need your help. I can put him on. I just don't feel like it's like the way it's supposed to be. I feel like something's not right. Or you having trouble, baby? <sighs> anyway, so Manaharm came over and he just beat the crud out of <laughs> out of, of Beastman. He just kicked him. Okay. Get your weapon back. Yes. So this is the comic book from the U.S. Man at Arms. This is the comic book from the International Beastman. So I'm gonna open up mine to page one. You, can you do the same so that people can sing? Yeah. All right. So I, mine, have words in each of the speech bubbles and such. Yours don't have words at all. Yeah, you don't even have the speech bubbles. I have ha ha ha, and that's it. Yeah, you don't have the speech bubbles. And I don't even have the words in the front. See now, I actually was under the misunderstanding. I had a misunderstanding about this. So you actually, I think I do like the international now because now you don't have as much cluttering up the image. I but mean, now there you could don't be... know what's going on. Go ahead and put these back to. Maybe we'll do that for like a season finale or something like that. Oh, can I have? Oh, right, this is me. Well, I mean, you I'm can... evil. So I always thought. I mean, to be completely honest. Hold on, where is it? Oh, what's the matter? Oh, you want your card? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's got your name on it. I am the. Oh yeah, you're gonna do it, are you? <laughs> no, <laughs> trying to be a good person. Hey, I can still put it in there. All right, what? Okay, so you're you're the Masters of the Universe nerd. What's Beast Man's pose? Cause last time I did I put Skeletor in his pose, where he's doing like ah, making the Chewbacca noises and everything. Chewbacca. God. So what's Beast Man's pose? I don't know what his pose actually is. If he has one, I mean, he usually just sort of is hunched over is with his hands down to the side, just kind of. Like sort of just, eh, but Master Skeletor, eh, it'll take all day to do that. It's I like, have a family. We're filming an episode. You have to do your part. And he just, yes, Master. And he just, that, that was sort of fell. his thing. He fell. He fell? All right, yeah. I so. can't make him hunched over because then he'll fall. So they, he never uses this thing. So he always uses some sort of wrist laser. Or another weapon, but he never uses this mason in the old cartoon. And it's kind of weird. So, you know what they did? Whenever they made, um... There we go. Whenever they made the, the Kevin Smith, the <laughs> Revelation Part 2, when they dropped it, there's an episode, I think it's called, um, Everything, it comes with everything you see here. They're making sure to finally address some of these things that they haven't gotten right. And one of them was, there's a scene where, uh... Duncan or Man at Arms has to go defend King Randor and he makes sure to pick up this weapon. Now he's got like a gun in his hand. Oh right, because he, he gave, puts it he gave the gun to Andrea or Andrea? Oh um, yeah, Andrea. No, but see I thought that was dumb. I mean it's like, hey, let me go ahead and put do. down this gun. But but why I mean, if he's going to help the king, I mean, don't do it with like a stick. <laughs> I mean, why not use the you know the laser? I mean, she takes out like a whole army with it, meanwhile he's knocked over like one guy and <laughs> I mean, the guy got back up because he didn't get hit with a laser. <laughs> hey, right. he can do it. Oh, wait. I think what would be really cool is that, so, if you if you guys have seen Revelation, I know these aren't the Revelation figures. Mm -hmm. It'd be really cool if you could take the helmet off and his hair would fall down, like, uh, in the show. Yes, yeah, so we have In the brush. Revelation show. Uh, anyway, put him on a stand. I remember hair. <laughs> Oh, God. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <Here>. <laughs> he just be whipping it all around, like. <laughs> all right. So I think mine looks pretty epic. What about you? I think mine is cooler. No, I, I would... <laughs> no, no. Your guy's got like tilt. Is he Michael Jackson? <laughs> you guys got going on here? He said he was hunched over. He's supposed to be hunched over, not to, like defying gravity. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll do it better. Jeez. God. All right. Rocks. Well, um, 
thanks again and um I guess like and subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And I guess yeah. we'll... We'll see you in our next video. Bye. The box is peeling. Maybe that's the difference between the international version and the U.S. version. The international version is like much easier. But here, you open mine because you're much faster at this. I'll open Beastman. No! I want Beastman. Uh, Beastman's better. better. I don't want the guy with the fake mustache. I, I'm going to right. wait. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Let me open How do I it. get Let him? Me open it. Yes, you you do it. Just uh, I can't do. It. I can't watch. <laughs> Just don't destroy the box, please. You've already destroyed it. No, I didn't. It was why I stopped. <laughs> so if you're destroying it, you need to stop now. Totally. I don't like any of this sound. What am I hearing? <laughs> Arms with himself. You know what? We're fighting right now. You know what? Attack! You were like so invading my personal space. I was wondering if these kind of connect in the front. No, they don't. No, because like, awesome. I know they're like emphasizing his like cheekbones.